What's up, Epi Bell Penguins? Today we're gonna do a little Epi Bell Math Minute looking at Hardy, Weinberg, and Chi Square. There are some errors that I make that I have to verbally explain, so please bear with me. There are 40 individuals that are homozygous dominant, 20 that are homozygous recessive, and in a few generations, 178 that are red, 190 that are pink, and then 52 that are white. I need to do a Chi Square analysis, figure out the population still in Hardy, Weinberg. First step, we need to figure out the P and the Q value for my original population where P is going to be the frequency of my dominant allele, and Q is the frequency of my, my recessive allele. Now, please bear with me. I do change these letters on you for just a second. I'm so sorry. So the frequency of my dominant allele is going to be two times the number of individuals that are homozygous dominant plus the number of individuals that are heterozygous divided by two times the number of individuals. So P is two times 40 because there's 40 that are homozygous dominant plus one times zero because there's zero that are heterozygous divided by two times 60 because there's 60 individuals. That gives us 80 over 120, which is two thirds, which is just 0.6 repeating. So then to find my Q, I'm going to copy and paste this formula down here, the frequency of my recessive allele. And again, I'm using a lowercase a for this. I'm so sorry, y'all. So two times homozygous uh, recessive plus heterozygous divided by two times the number of individuals times two. So that's going to give me my Q being two times 20 plus one times zero, because there's 20 individuals that are homozygous recessive and zero that are heterozygous. And then that's going to be two times 60, because there's 60 total individuals. That gives us 40 over 120, which is one third, which is 0.3 repeating. So now I need to figure out how many individuals of that original population with the Hardy-Weinberg equilibrium with these different uh, homozygous dominant, heterozygous, and homozygous recessive be. So my homozygous dominant is P squared, so 0.6 repeating squared, which is 0.4 repeating. My heterozygous is 2 times P times Q, and so that's going to be 2 times 0.6 repeating times 0.3 repeating, which is going to give me 0.4 repeating. Um, and then my homozygous recessive is Q squared, which is 0.3 repeating, and then 0.1 repeating. When I scroll up in a second, that little box I have covering my error is going to go away, so please bear with that error. I'm so sorry, y'all. So now I need to figure out, well, the original population had 420 individuals. So if I take those frequencies and multiply by the total population, that tells me how many individuals are of each of the different genotypes. So I have 186 that are homozygous dominant, 186 that are heterozygous, and then 46 that are homozygous recessive. So now I need to do the high square analysis. I'll uh, go back up to the top and pull the data so I can see how many of my observed there were. Um, and so I can fill in my chart now. So I have red, I have pink, and then I have white. I can see that 178 were red. I can see that 190 are pink. And then I can see that 52 are white. So fill that in. I then will fill in the values that we solved um, for the original population. And then I'm gonna do my observed minus my expected. And then we're gonna do the observed minus expected squared. And I saved all these in my calculator just so that I would have the accurate numbers. You should keep your decimals and go to like probably the hundredth place. And then we're going to do the observed minus expected squared over the expected. And that gives us our chi-square of a 1.071. So our fourth step is that we need to compare this to our table value. So we are looking at a degree of freedom of 2. Um, because of the fact that we have three different phenotypes. So three minus two, one is two. And then we have a p-value of 0.05. Um, and so our value is less than the table value. And so that means that we're going to uh, fail to reject the null hypothesis. So it is in Hardy-Weinberg.